Well, 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 we meet again. And yeah, if you probably watched any of my previous videos, you notice that at least five pounds of my hair is gone now. <laughs> but that doesn't matter, because today we're capturing Pokemon. Memes. Memes. We can't quite capture these things IRL quite yet. I know many people who'd want to capture you. <laughs> And if you want to save a Vaporeon life, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. So few people do that. And if you do that, you will save all of their lives and possibly their futures. A comic by Hot Paper Comics. Charmander, you whine! Whoa, you're evolving! Wait, huh? It's a crab. Crabby? Wait, wait, what? Wait, everything's crabby. Wait, the, the, the world's crabby. I'm surrounded by crabby. <laughs> There's a scientific term where everything just returns to crab, but uh, the flying crab is, took the cake there for me. But yeah, I maybe every Pokemon will eventually turn into crabs too, or it's a general nightmare. I don't know. So here's Fue Coco, and here's Fue Coco with Coco. Fue Coco with Fue Coco Coco. Oh, he's got a little like little Coco with his face on. And Fue Coco Fueing his Fue Coco. Fue <laughs> Fue. He's trying to blow down. Oh, that one's just cute. I like that. I actually offered me some hot cocoa earlier. Now I'm like, I kind of want it now, but no, no, it's too late now. I'm gonna be going to bed soon. Chilling out there. Oh, what? I just saw something in the air. Wait, what's that? Oh my god, Garchomp just flying around. <laughs> Why is he just flying around? What the heck? He's a land shark, all right. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's capable of flying. I've never seen him fly before like that. I mean, it's cool, it necessarily, yeah, he, he can't exactly do that, he can't fly, but that's, there's just something weird about it. It's like Gyarados going through, like, the world in Arceus, that was, that was strange. When you run into a wild Pokemon, and your brain is processing why it suddenly has a different color than usual. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure everyone remi remembers their first shiny Pokemon. If, you know, if you haven't found one, though, um, I'm sorry. The Pokemon that would get you weird looks from others for saying that your favorite starter pack. And it's, oh, the vanilla ice cream, Gardevoir, Mr. Mime, Hypno, definitely Garbodor, and Lone Pun Puny. Honey, uh, okay, no, I can't say it right, Look, Bunny, it's like, I get it. The thing is though, the, the ice cream one I know specifically is Rustich's favorite <laughs> Pokemon. He really likes that little ice cream thing. I'm, just, I'm sure it would taste delicious, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe want to take a bite of that, I'm just saying. You think it would mind if just like a little bit of a lick or something like that? You think it would take offense to it or would it be flattered? So uh, here in this new Pokemon card art, you see Snom in the background out there with, um, with a little omelet and it's like, what the frick, man? <laughs> Wait a minute, you made me, you gonna eat me now? What the heck? I'm pretty sure that's the ice gym leader from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I, I know my cards a little bit there. I'm pretty sure that's from her. Oh, I just missed the pun on the name of the food there, too. It's an omelet, but no, it's a snomlet. Of course it is. So Salty Zodium out here doing the classic look back at the trainer meme. Have I done something like this before? Where, you know, it, it's actually a guy looking at a human girl instead of a Pokemon? <laughs> hey, yo, wait a minute. I actually like human girls. <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at my subreddit lately, and I think I've been fostering a little bit too much of freedom in the, the furry department. I mean, you, you do what you want. I don't care, all right? They're just drawings. I don't give a crap. But hey, it's nice to see Rosa getting some love. I mean, ever since she had, like, that weird, like, uh, meme where she was just like, oh, doing her, like, a little face there. <laughs> Everyone just fell in love with their face from po Pokemon Masters X. Make sure you space that properly and don't combine it in a hashtag Pokemon. I, I remember that incident. My Pokemon's force, Pokemon's plural. Oh, forced to eat the worst sandwich ever so I could find a shiny. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do the Pokemon have to eat that sandwich with you, man? Why Why does everyone need to eat that sandwich for like the world to change around you, is it? I don't get it. I don't understand. And now that I think about it, if the Pokemon, you know, eat the sandwich that, you know, puts them in the mood for egg breeding, wouldn't that also have the same effect on you? Guess which one learns Plasma Fix? The furry Pokemon 
or the one with freaking plasma fins. <laughs> I don't know, man. The furry one looking pretty cool. He could use some plasma. He's got yellow hands. Come on. Let's be fair. The Iron Sumo Wrestler guy, he's a little bit too, too good. He's so meta in the game right now. They, they can't make him even more meta. So Pokemon Scarlet and Violet out here with the plot important characters and everyone's like, <gasps> shoves them aside and there's some gremlin. That one's my favorite. <laughs> That's the one. I like him the most. Good old Larry. I mean, he's somewhat plot relevant. He's part of the Elite Four. He's also one of the gym leaders you find, so you fight him twice, which is pretty cool. But sometimes all you need is one little gimmick of, you know, just being that business guy that just is at his job and is ordinary and plain. That's all you need. That's all you need to become someone's favorite. Oh, Iron Valiant was created to be the most powerful psychic type Pokemon. Is it even a psychic type? This is true. Iron Violet, though, is pretty freaking cool. All right, it's got that blade that it whips around and it hits really hard. It's so frail, though. <laughs> it's like you breathe on it, that thing will fall over. But man, is it cool. So mysterious blue spiral appears in the sky over Hawaii, baffling onlookers. And Pokemon fans, oh my god, okay, it's happening, everybody, calm down! It's literally in the Alola region, too! We're getting some Ultra Dimension Beasts coming in! Actually, like, I, I think I'd be scared if some Ultra Dimension Beasts actually made it into the real world. They're invasive species for a region, a reason, man. They will completely destroy our society as we know it. Oh, Flamingo. Flamingo. What you looking at, buddy? What's up? Oh, I'm out of here. Oh my god, that's the sassiest walk I've seen. Why is he walking away so sassy? Like, mm, no. Mm -mm. No, girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> they put a lot of effort in that animation of him walking away like the sassiest little di prima diva I've ever seen. Prima diva, prima donna, come on, no. 30% accurate move and 95% accurate move. Corporate needs you to find the difference between these two pictures and competitive Pokemon players like they're the same. And honestly, I don't think they're wrong because, you know, even if it's only 5% chance to miss, that 5% chance to miss is inconsistent. It ruins your win record and it makes you frustrated as all heck. <laughs> so like, it's either all or it's nothing. New toothpaste gets released and dentist being like, hey, oh. Hey, <laughs> that's the maddest looking sushi boy I've seen in a while out there. <laughs> what you so mad about? You want your sushi? Someone must have been hungry when they made that guy. <laughs> that little dragon type. I don't know why sushi is a dragon type of all things, but you know what? Whatever. If a freaking palm tree can be a dragon type, why not sushi? Oh, so this is what riding a dragon is like, says Ash Ketchum. And just, uh, just let, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy, pal. All right, then. Let's see how it's like, brother. I was there for you. I saved you from so many legendaries, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you gotta be fair, though. Ash literally forgets everything between seasons, okay? He, he completely wipes his, uh, his memory until it's convenient to remember again. Oh. Okay, so much as sleepy Eevees and, um... Every male on my team, and the one female on my team during a picnic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> to be fair, I do wonder about Eevee society, considering that only one-eighth of them will ever be female, and the rest are just males. So it really sets up a harem situation for females, and I... I'm not gonna bring up the Vaporeon meme here, I'm backing away. Gaining XP in old games being like, please, spare change. And getting XP in new Pokemon games, and you just, you just have so many Krabby Patties to eat that I, I mean, I kind of like the new one a lot better. I know this is a hot take, but I kind of like being able to get experience easier because it allows me to experiment more with my Pokemon and not feel punished for capturing a new one that needs to be leveled up. I draw a Shizzle, okay? Wild Sandshrew fled. Oh, I'll never be able to catch that Cantonian Sand Shrew. Let me do it for you. As its big nose is coming for the I, I can't unhear that stupid thing. I don't even think it's that funny, but that stupid, stupid. Let me do it for you. Oh God, it's 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 living rent free in my head. 
Need to take him to the hospital because he's sick as heck out there. Look at that whooper. He's going around. Sheesh. <laughs> he's got the kicks on there. Oh, did I did I say uh, whooper out there? I'm, I meant Mudkip. I'm sorry. I mixed up your Pokemon, guys. I, I know I do this all the time. I swear I will never mix up Mudkip ever again. Okay. This is kind of funny. <laughs> I'll spin it. We can both spin together, Miss Sharp. Dude, the noise just a bit whipping around is so cartoonish and fits so perfectly. <laughs> oh. Is that, what's the duck do? It's just running so fabulously. Why does it run like that? Why is it like, right like, oh my god, come on guys. Come on guys, it's time for the picnic. Let's go, come on. I'm just fire today. I'm a fire type because I'm flaming, <laughs> even though I'm water. <laughs> you know, if it just wants to be fa a fabulous little peacock duck, you know, you do what you do. Okay, this is a bit weird seeing all those little mothras going up to heaven. Why are they all just rising up to heaven? What's up with that? <laughs> They're just going away. There's a lot of things in Pokemon that I have not seen any interaction like that before, which is cool to see that, but at the same time, like, wow. I really hope they're okay. Anyway, that's gonna do it here for a little Pokemon meme session out here. I hope you guys had some good laughs. Maybe you learned a little bit new things out there. I like I like presenting like a little fun of fun footage plus some memes and maybe some cute stuff in between sandwiching that all in there. I, I hope I'm doing a good job. Tell me if I'm doing a good job in the comment section, all right? Or maybe just say double. Do better, you suck. <laughs> but for now, yo, if you guys want to see some more Pokemon stuff, hey, I got plenty for you. Or if you like to see some anime content, I got plenty of that too. You know, maybe years of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you beautiful guns and guns again next time.